And a look at the West Ham 11. Although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. It has to be! And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Still passing it around with authority. Real chance! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And over comes the corner. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Emerson. Scope to attack here for West Ham. Paqueta. Chance to finish. And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. And that is that. The referee blows the full-time whistle. And a night for the home fans to enjoy, certainly. They won't be getting totally carried away, but the home side with the advantage going into the return leg. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what, though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides, and it's set up perfectly for round two. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.